Hello, and welcome to Python with MySQL Database. I'm your instructor, David Baker. This course is brought to you by creativeonlineschool.com. Before we get started with actual instructions, I'd like to introduce myself. Again, my name is David Baker. I have eight years of Python programming as well as in other languages. I have three years of programming with MySQL and specifically Python and other databases in multiple languages. If you are interested in any other courses or are interested in more about Python, I would highly recommend Creative Online School as a resource and to use their tutorials. So going forward in this course, what will you be learning? Well, I'm going to start off with a basic introduction to Python so that we're all on the same understanding and same knowledge base. And then I'm going to get into what a database is and why we're going to be using it. Then we're going to start looking at the actual coding and how to connect a MySQL database to a server and how to create this database and also how to create tables and store information inside of these tables. Next, we're going to move on to how to visualize this information in a web page for those of you that are looking to display your product or anything online. And then finally, we're going to look at how to optimize our database creation with classes. If you don't know what a class is right now, no worries, I'll explain that in a future video. So let's get started with a basic Python introduction. The first thing that you will need to know are variables and what they are. So what a variable is, is basically just a representation of something else. <clears throat> this can be thought of as in math when you have x or y equal to anything. So let's just go ahead and go into a Python terminal so I can give an example. So if you have any variable, say we have the variable v, and we try to see what v is holding, it gives us an error in Python because when we first start it, there is nothing that v is set to. However, if we put quotation marks around v, then Python knows that we're just trying to show v as a letter and not necessarily reference it as a variable. In order to set up v as a variable, what we will do is set it equal to anything. So I'm going to set it equal to the string hello creative online school. Oh, excuse me. Got the O. So hello creative online school. And once I press enter, V is now mapped to the string hello creative online school. So Variables are also used in comparisons, which we will look at in the next video. However, this is just a basic understanding for you so that you know what a variable is and also how to use it. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. And in the next video, what we're going to be looking at are data types and which data types to use when and how their interconnectability. Thank you for watching. My name is David Baker, and again, this video is brought to you by Creative Online School.